In this video tutorial, we're going to be covering the WPCW Groups Grading Add-on for WP Courseware. Now, basically, this is actually an add-on that allows the Groups plugin uh, to integrate with WP Courseware, in which you can actually create groups of students and assign them to a particular instructor. The instructor can then be set up as an author or an editor and when they log into the admin panel of WordPress they get to see the actual gradebook for their students. By default WP Courseware out of the box requires an administrator to actually view uh, the gradebook. Okay so let's begin this tutorial. First I want to cover what we need to install in order to get started. So I'm going to go down to our plugin list and you'll notice that I've got a couple of different plugins installed here. I've got the Groups plugin. I've also got WP Courseware. And I've got the add-on WPCW Groups Grading 2. And the WPCW Groups Grading 2 add-on is available in the member portal for download. Now these are the three components that you'll need in order to accomplish this task. The first thing we want to do, obviously, is create a course with WP Courseware, which actually I've already done. However, I'm going to go down and we're going to take a look at my course listing. And for this video, I created Math 101 and Math 202. The next thing we want to do is we want to create groups that associate with these courses. So next, what I'm going to do is go down to the Groups plugin and click on groups. And you'll notice I've already created the Math 101 and the Math 202 group. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to go and assign an instructor to either one of these groups. So we're going to go over to our users and you'll notice I've actually created Math 101 instructor and Math 202 instructor. Now if you go into Math 101 instructor and you scroll all the way to the bottom, you're going to notice that you can make him instructor of any group. Um, so what we're going to do is just keep him matched up with Math 101. And we're going to go ahead and update user. And the final step to this is to assign a student to that group. So what we want to do is scroll down and look for student number one and you'll notice he's already a part of the Math 101 group. And just to give you an idea how that works, uh, I'm going to go ahead and assign student number 2 to Math 202. So we're going to select the checkbox here and we're going to scroll back up to the top and we're going to select his group and we're going to pull down the group actions menu and we're going to say add to group and click apply. And now you now you'll notice that student number two is in Math 202. So just to keep everything organized, I'm going to go and make sure that we have Math 202 instructor as instructor of Math 202. And now, what I want to do is I want to show you how the WPCW Groups plugin can make this whole process a lot easier. So we're going to go down to Groups Grading and click Groups Grading. And you'll notice at the top that we can we can modify groups or we can create new groups. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and create a new group and we're going to call this new group the PHP group. Next what we're going to do is we're going to assign a group instructor. And I'm just going to go ahead and pick myself from the list. And then we want to pick a course that we're going to assign to this group. So I'm going to, I'm going to use our course called Beginning PHP. And now we need to just add in some students. So the last portion here is adding in uh, either a new student or you can add in current students. So if we want to add in a current student, all you have to know is their email address. So if you remember, we had student1 at flyplugins.com. And so I'm going to go ahead and just add this student. So it's going to take care of all the previous steps that we just went through, basically all in one action. 
and I'm going to go ahead and click save. And now we've created a group called PHP. I assigned myself as the instructor and I also added a single student to that group. Now let's just go verify and make sure that all those changes did occur. Uh, the first thing we want to do is go down to groups and make sure that the group got created. So now you notice we have PHP group and now we want to go over to our users and I want to make sure that I am the instructor of the PHP group and I am it's highlighted and now we want to verify that there is actually one student that got assigned which is student one and you'll notice he did get assigned into the PHP group so now the last thing to show you or demonstrate is how an instructor would log in and view the gradebook. So I'm going to go ahead and log into our site as Math 101 Instructor. And the first thing we want to do is we want to actually look at our gradebook. Now there's two ways to achieve this. The first way I'll show you is going through training courses and clicking training courses. Then we go down and find our course which is Math 101 and we click access gradebook. And you'll notice now we can see our student that's actually a part of that group. Now the second way that you can actually view this group is by clicking the groups grading and go down to instructor pages. And you'll see that you'll have the instructors listed here and you can view the gradebook for the for the class that you uh, that you have here. And you'll see that the student is listed here as well. And the last thing to take note of is you'll notice I don't have all my functionality here. And the reason for that is that our Math 101 instructor is set up as an editor. And you can have them set up as an editor or an author. And you can still see the gradebook. And that concludes this demonstration of how to use the WPCW Group's grading plugin add-on for WP Courseware. Thanks for watching.